like lay it down like that. Uh-huh. New Canaan High School offers a wide range of electives for students to choose from, from drawing to engineering. But have you ever wondered what goes on in the printmaking elective? In room 237, students come in every day to test their creativity and use tools such as the new printing press to complete projects that are exhibited in the school hallway. Jennifer Sinski teaches many art classes here at NCHS and printmaking is one of them. Printmaking is a little bit different than something like drawing and painting where you don't make an immediate mark and like um, it takes time to process and plan what you're going to do and in this case we're carving away the surface of linoleum with a design and slowly adding ink on top of that surface and then with paper, ink and the carving block we send that through a high pressure printing press and it transfers kind of like a stamp like process but more complicated intricate design and you get multiple copies of one design. Introducing this process to a lot more students is one of her main goals for the class apart from learning and having fun. My initial goals were just to really get the class rolling and to get enough students to take it because it used to be a really big class at the high school and in the past 10 years or so there really hasn't been as much enrollment in this class so I was looking to bring it back. I have a background in printmaking and just to have everybody here and really excited about what they're doing was a big goal for me and uh, to get them to understand what printmaking is about and they've created a portfolio now of prints and I think you know, they're, they did a great job with it. So. Sophomore Teresa Marciano took the course last semester and found that the class was more enjoyable than she thought. Well, I was expecting it to kind of just be like another thing that you just kind of like go through for the art credit, but um, it ended up being really interesting because I had never done printmaking before, so I learned a lot about the whole process. Teresa thinks of the class as a chance to relax and take time for yourself while creating artwork. Ms. Sinski wants students to know that while the process is very tedious, it results in a beautiful piece of art. Being creative and making art is not immediate. It takes, it's a process that takes time, thought, it's about planning, um, seeing it through, executing, maybe doing it in steps, layers, and then having a final product at the end. But that final product would never be there without this big, beautiful process of creativity. According to Teresa, this was the main reason she found the class enjoyable. Um, my favorite part about the class was probably just seeing like the finished product because it takes a lot of work and time to like carve everything and then do the whole printing process so it's just cool to kind of look at like the sheet of paper with your final print. Even though the class only lasts for a semester, both Teresa and Ms. Sinski feel that there is a lot to learn and students improve immensely despite the lack of prior experience. I think these guys have come a really long way. I think starting, it's very confusing. It's a technically really difficult process. It's really hands-on. But from start to finish, I mean, they've become a little bit more careful about what they're doing. Their carving is becoming more um, detailed, and designs are more intricate and complex. And they're understanding the process better and knowing what to do to fix things, how to use materials, how to roll ink out. It's amazing how much how far they've come.